I've been trying. She had a good workout down at the Y. Uh, we did about seven and a half miles on the elliptical. It's nice not having that uh, pounding on the joints, I will say. Also did it at a much faster pace than I do uh, on the ground. Knee feels okay. I can st still tell it's a little bit sore. But... It's Wednesday night. It's late. Tomorrow, we get new sneakers, we get better headphones, and we go for a workout. We've got four days to go, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days. It's technically Thursday, actually. It's pretty late on Wednesday. Anyway, we're getting close. Tomorrow's sneaker day. Who doesn't like sneaker day? Hey guys, so it is uh, Friday, May 3rd, two days before the half marathon. I did not train today. Pretty exhausted. Um, it hasn't been a particularly busy week. It's been normal, like, busy, but, uh, and my knee has been a little bit problematic. I've had some good workouts this week. I'll probably do a little something easy tomorrow at the gym. So I'm deciding to take today off. I don't know. I was expecting to be a little more excited at this point, just before the 13-1. I'm not, not excited, but I'm not excited. It's just a thing I'm going to do, which I think might be a healthy way to approach it. Um, I've run 10, I've run 12, and now I'm going to do 13-1. We'll see. I just went through this closet that my grandma had organized uh, years ago of all kinds of supplies. So this is just a handful of stuff, but we had this whole bin of ace wraps and tons of band-aids and what have you. And then there was a whole two boxes full of uh, bags like this that had some kind of device in it with a note, like this one, two medium ankles. Uh, not ankles, but ankle wraps on us. Knee or shin wrap, simple cover for one area. Whatever that note means. Thanks, Gran. And uh, this one, my favorite, probably a wrist wrap. And then I found this bag here, which had this guy in it. Which is exactly what I needed for my knee. So, fortunately, Gran passed away uh, six and a half years ago. We still have the closet full of stuff she organized for Adam and I growing up as hemophiliacs. So, thank you, Gran. This is going to come really in handy tomorrow. And hopefully, you're watching from somewhere. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see you. Come on, let's go. Yeah! Dad, do you have any thoughts for the camera? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> He's ready. Okay, so that's your nemesis in the gray t-shirt. You have to pass her. Okay. Okay. That's your goal for tonight. That's correct. Okay. All right. Moonwalking in this here is a party. My posse's been on Broadway, and we did it all way. Chrome music. I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it. And yet I'm on. Let that stage light go and shine on down. Got that Bob Barker suit game and Plinko in my style Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town Trust me, on my I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T -E 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 shit hustling Chasing dreams since I was four Here we go, baby Jason Perone F Marathon, number one Christine Long Island Steven Deal There we go <laughs> Well, it's a fun way to spend a Sunday morning. We get it. Uh, I don't know exactly what our pace was. I think it's, we think we beat our goal of 10 minute miles. Uh, it wasn't easy. I'm gonna lie here on the grass for a while. Listen to this band from the mid early 80s. Here we go back. This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can. Monday morning, 9.15, um, pretty banged up. Uh, as you can see, especially the left ankle is pretty swollen. This guy, a little bit too, so 
It was to be expected. Going to be uh, a couple of days of recovery. And we'll be back on our feet again. So, so you guys like my hair? I think it's just no shower. Hey, Doc. Just the limping around crippled guy with cool hair. How you doing? Go for it. Uh, Juanas. What, would, what, would, what are you here? I see. I, I would put C U A N A S. C U A, right. We got a good laugh out of this. It's like Hanukkah. Yes, that's it. It's like Hanukkah. Juanas. My doctor has a really cool old school office. Cool is that scale? It's like this place comes right out of a Norman Rockwell painting. Anyway, so how are you doing? Pretty good. Uh, What's new in your world? Well, I ran a half marathon yesterday. Oh my goodness, congratulations. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, as a severe hemophiliac with pretty banged up ankles, I'm certainly feeling I'm it very today. Impressed. I'm very um, but you survived? You survived? I survived. I'm training to do the full in November, to be the first severe hemophiliac to do the full. So that this is a part of this is a step in the process. And you're getting. I was pretty happy to see how uh, excited he was about what I'm doing. So now it's time to kick the feet up and rest. There's some of this here pizza. Sorry, Liz and Sarah. Health coaches not really big on the pizza, and recuperate. So that's it. Half marathon in the books. See what's next. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Can we go back?